Hello, it's Ricardo, and I'm here with another Galnet update relating to the League of Reparation. Now, the League of Reparation have been targeting Inra descendants, and this, again, plays towards that. Another Inra descendant has indeed been murdered. The descendant of Amaro Hem, one of the Inra's senior members, has been murdered by terrorist group the League of Reparation. His body was found in the wreckage of a crashed ship. Senior Agent Tanya Ramirez, part of the Tri-Power Task Force investigating the League, provided a full explanation at a press conference. We have identified the deceased as Luca Hem, an unemployed construction worker living at Hauptmann City in the Antineras system. He was reported missing by his family two weeks ago. We can confirm that he was the great-grandson of Amaro Hem, who was a program coordinator with the INRA. Now, Luca Hem's body was found strapped into an ancient Cobra Mark III, the same model flown by Commander Jameson. Forensics indicated he was still alive when the ship struck an asteroid in the Antonarius belt. The Cobra's derelict condition suggests it wasn't travelling under its own power and was most likely salvaged from a scrapyard specifically for this purpose. According to logs discovered at Taylor Keep Inra facility, Amro Hem was responsible for ensuring that Jameson did not return from his mission against the Thargoids. This staged murder, recreating circumstances of Jameson's death, is obviously intended as an act of poetic justice by the League of Reparation. And I've included the logs from Taylor Keep at the end of this video for your contacts. Luca Hem's wife and children have been taken to a secure locations for their own protection, as have nine individuals from other families related to Amro Hem. Agent Ramirez concluded, it's clear that the League is using theatrical tactics to ensure its message reaches the media. Our task force is working hard to discover more about this organization and bring these terrorists to justice. Now here are the logs from Taylor Keep to put all of this into a bit of context. Uh, it's also part of the INRA playlist that um, I put together several months ago. So check that out if you haven't already done so. Also like and subscribe and hit that notification icon. Spoiler alert, spoiler alert. I'll admit, I had my reservations about this Commander Jameson. I looked into his background and apparently he climbed the ranks of the Pilots' Federation with unprecedented speed. He's revered by other pilots. <laughs> but that doesn't mean he's suited to the task. But then it struck me. All we need is someone who can get the payload where it needs to go. The hard work, the development of the mycoid has already been done. All Jameson has to do is push a button. The important thing is to play up the whole saving humanity angle. Make him feel like a hero. That should stop him asking too many questions. And if everything goes wrong, we can just pin the blame on him. Having received the payload from the Alnath system, we've prepared a number of medium-range missiles loaded with the weaponized version of the mycoid. Jameson will be here in three days to prep for the mission, which should give us more than enough time to fit his vessel. Apparently, he insisted on using his own ship. 
I've also ordered that some special modifications be made to his craft. He'll have to get close to launch the missiles, so it's unlikely he'll be coming back. But if he does survive, there are contingencies in place. Welcome, Commander Jameson. Your reputation precedes you. We are extremely grateful you chose to accept this mission. I understand that the purpose of the assignment has been explained to you, but allow me to reiterate. This mission, if executed successfully, could mean the end of our war with the Thargoids. Its importance cannot be overstated. The consignment has been loaded onto your ship. We have made some minor modifications to your vessel, but it should not affect the performance or functionality in any way. This is an extremely dangerous mission, Commander. You will be heading deep into enemy territory. If anything goes wrong, you're on your own. Good luck, Commander. The future of the human race is in your hands. All our hopes and prayers go with you.